Hey guys, how's it going? I have finally made it back with another Minecraft kind of let's play playthrough type deal. Uh, really, again, I don't have much of a goal set. The, uh, well, yeah, I guess uh, you could say I got a goal. I'm going to build a huge farm, and I've already found some of those things. I'm going to build a huge farm, uh, including a barn, you know, like a, a garden. Well, when you say garden, more of like a, a big nursery, you know, with all kinds of uh, trees that you can, like, obviously there's plenty of trees, but just for the fun of it, I'm going to, you know, neatly align each tree and have like a nice nursery type deal, a big garden with different types of foods, and what was that? Anyway, something's buzzing at me already, and uh, as you can see, you're thinking, uh, you said you were playing Ticket, uh, that's not Ticket. Ticket doesn't have more creatures. Well, guess what? I broke the rules. I added more creatures because it's, it would be fun that way. How are you going to build a big barn and, uh, cool stuff like that if you don't have horses and other stuff that you see on farms and stuff? Anyways, um, uh, and a lot of you are probably wondering, well, why are you doing that? Why are you, uh, building a farm and stuff? Uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm from Tennessee, so, uh, yeah. That's kind of how we do it down here. Just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding about being from Tennessee. I'm kidding about that being the way I talk. There are people that talk like that, though, and that's the people that kind of make us look silly. Because uh, no one in their right mind really talks like this right here. Very few. One in, one in a million are really born talking like that. Most of them are... Most of them are fake. I hate to break it to you guys, but it is. Like if any of you are into country music, like uh, Justin Moore, for example. Yeah, his accent is fake as shit. But anyway, shut the... Now where I'm from, if you picked a big ass log up and knocked a damn cricket inside of the head, he's not going to make it. These must be some, uh, fucking cricketzillas or some shit. Well, I'm coming for it. Oh, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. You're not even worth it, cricket. Anyways, as I get my. Re God damn it. I apologize. That kind of even sets the mood even more because where I'm from, and at this time, uh, time of year, you've got grasshoppers and June bugs and all sorts of different you look out your window and it looks like the ground is moving because there's so many damn bugs and it's uh, it's so annoying uh but yeah if you need you guys uh some of you may watch joe hills he's uh kind of does the whole youtube uh well obviously he does youtube if you know of him but he does the minecraft uh community type deal and uh he's part of i think he's part of hermitcraft so he does all the he He's a big part of the whole Spoon, I Am Spoon, and all that junk. So if you know who I Am Spoon is, I'll link their channels below just so you can go check them out. They're really cool. Anyways, the reason I brought up Joe Hills is because uh, if you do watch him and you know who he is, I live I live about 30 minutes away, I'd say. Maybe a little more, maybe 40 from Joe Hills. He lives in Nashville, Tennessee. I live in uh, Warren County, Tennessee, which is not very far at all. So I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool to have a successful YouTuber. That doesn't live, you know, not even an hour away, which is kind of really cool. But uh, just so you know, he, uh, if you kind of, if you listen to Joe Hills, he has a really distinct country voice. He has like a, you know, he has one of those country voices that just flowed. Like if, if he talked any other way, it wouldn't be Joe Hills, if you know what I mean. Like it's just kind of like, that's kind of the cool thing about it in here. If you see some people and you get to know them. If they didn't have that little, you know, that, that country twang, y'all, you know what I'm saying? It, it, they wouldn't be themselves, so, or themselves. Sorry, I have to talk proper. When I'm on here, I will get so much uh, complaint. <coughs> Sorry about that. Complaints about uh, talking in a redneck slang. And I'm sitting there, I've been beating the wood, or beating the wood. Beating the wood. Ha ha. Go ahead and comment on that. I've been beating trees with my fist, and I forgot that Ticket Light, I believe, has timber mods, so I should just make an axe. And I totally 
just forgot what I was talking about. Because I got on the whole beat in the wood thing. Oh, about being kind of... I'm not going to call myself redneck because I don't see myself as a redneck. If you were if you were from the south and not from like the north, you would know what a real quote unquote redneck was. It's a There's a difference between like people that have like a southern heritage that live in the south and then people who are truly I don't even know what you call them. Because, like, if I, like, whenever I'm playing Xbox and stuff, and even on here, people are like, oh, your southern accent's so cool. And to me, and to myself, like, to all of my friends, like, we don't have southern accents, like, to each other. But now there are some people down here, you know, from where we're at, like, down in the south, like, Tennessee and Alabama and all. And, you know, they have that, how you doing, y'all? What are y'all doing today? You know, and it gets, like, it gets on our nerves. We're from the south, and it, it, it's the most annoying thing I've ever like when I was in high school and somebody come up back, boy, we get in the truck. You gonna pack my dip? Goddamn, we're gonna go shoot a deer. Like, I was ready to fucking punch somebody. Like, that's the most annoying thing ever. And I don't, like, whenever I see people, like, when I see, like, all the, you know, people up north, they're like, oh, you goddamn red. Like, it pisses me off. But it doesn't piss me off because, you know, they're calling us damn rednecks because I don't blame them. If I, you know, if you guys seen half of the retards that live down here, you'd, You'd think the same thing. It's it's a crazy place to live. If you live around, most of the South is okay, but you you do have your towns that are, you know, I hate to say it, but there are you know towns nowhere around here, thank God, but there are towns in the South where brothers and sisters do fuck and they do come out looking like some shit off a wrong turn with stubby fingers and fucking big knots on their heads and hunchback and Ugh. Anyway, I am so lost on this whole Southern conversation. I don't even know where I'm at. Like, I know where I'm at, but I don't know what's going on. We're going to make some wood. And we're going to make a little underground house. Because last uh, time I tried to make a Tegic series, some... Everybody was like, dude, uh, you really can't build, you know? Like, your, your house is really bad. And I was like, I don't care, man. It's like... It, it keeps me away from like all the monsters and stuff. So it really doesn't matter if it looks pretty, if it keeps me away from everything, that I'm happy. But I think that's plenty of wood. Let's get some uh do I have no I don't have a pickaxe. Let's let's get a pickaxe. So how do you see? Alrighty. Another wood. Getting wood. Oh, wow. Hello. Let's grab some of this cobblestone just so we can make a better cobblestone. Then we can worry about getting uh, coal and copper and all that good stuff. See, I'm still, I'm still going to worry about the whole... In my last one, I was going to do like the... I was going to do all the machines and get the machines going and, you know, whatnot. And uh, I don't even remember. There was a reason that I stopped the last series something come up and I had waited too long and it had been months before I had even touched that world on Tech It. So I said, you know what, we're going to add more creatures and we're going to make it even better. We're going to start over fresh. And I don't know, I know bears attack you at some point. I know sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I don't know. Like I know the lines. Sometimes you can walk right up to the lines, look them in the face and they'll just look at you. And like not even bother you, and as soon as you turn around to walk away, they're like, they're mauling you in the ass. And that bear tote. Wait, no, is it just? Does he grow up or? Is... No, he's still little. And I'm getting sidetracked again. Hallelujah. Here we go. We're just gonna step down in here and make a little hole. That's what we're gonna do. Right down here in this hole right here. Well, we're gonna dig it a little deeper so that I can fit all my He'll be the friends down in here. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Alrighty, that ought to be deep enough to put my uh, my big old moonshine steel down in, and if it ain't, we'll make it bigger. By God, hey, there's a sheep. I need to go kill that sheep because I could sleep and get this 